I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw words that be that have the long E vowel sound. So I come right to the center, I put a dot. And I'm going to draw a curve line, 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 connect. Inside, I'm going to write the word long and then E, the long E sound. Going straight up, I put a dot and I draw a curve line down and a curve line in, connect. Put a dot on the left and I'm going to draw a curve line down, curve line up, in, connect. One more, put a dot, I'm going to draw a curve line down, in, up, connect. These are beans. Beans. And right here is the long E sound. Come over here on the right hand side and put a dot. We're going to draw a slightly curved line down. Come back to the dot. We're going to draw that line again. Slightly curved line down. Little straight line up. Right above, we'll put a dot. And we're going to go curved line out, in, out on the left. Come back to the dot. Curved line out, in, out on the right. Come back to the left, draw a big curve line out, curve line in, in, connect. Come on the right hand side, big curve line out, curve line in, 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 connect. Put little curve lines, slightly curved lines on the upper and the lower side of our leaf. Leaf. There's our long E. Come down over here on the lower right, put a dot, and we're going to draw a big curve line down, up, little curve line in, out, in, out, curve line up. We're going to draw, put a dot right there, then we're going to draw curve line down, little curve line up, connect. Come back to the top. We're going to draw a curve line in, curve line out, curve line in, little straight line, curve line, in, out, in, out, curve line, in, out, in, out, and a big curve line in. Put one dot, another dot, and another dot, and a little curve line up. And now we're going to put curve line, curve line, curve line. Curve line, curve line, and this is a seal. Eel. Seal. There's our long E. Now come over here on the left side, put a dot. We're going to draw a big curve line down, curve line up to the dot, connect. Right at the dot again, curve line out, down, connect at the bottom. Come up to the top, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Let's do a curve line up, down, connect. This is a peach. Peach. And there's our long E. And now I come over here, upper left, and put a dot, and I'm going to draw a spiral. Okay. Come up, come up to the top and just go curve line, curve line, curve line, down, straight line over, and connect. Come up on top and let's draw a little curve line, curve line, curve line, and inside, curve line, curve line, curve line. Come over here on the left, we're going to draw a flat oval, curve line, up, Connect. Now we're going to draw it again. Curve line. Up. Connect. This is hot, so I'm going to put these little wavy lines above because this is some meat. 
Here's our long E. Meat. Okay, so we have beans, leaf, seal, peach, and meat. Let's see how we're going to color these in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is take my apricot and color in my beans. If you don't have apricot, which is a multicultural crayon, you can use pink. If you don't have pink, you can use yellow. You can even use your brown and color it lightly. Next, I come over to my leaf and I am going to use my dark green for the inside. And I'm just going to add some dark green lines and then I'm going to take my light green and color over it. Get that inside part so it looks like a two-toned leaf. Keep going. Keep going. Leaf. Now some of you can color your leaf a different color and that is fine. Now I come down to my seal, E, E. I'm going to color the inside part pink right here. I'm going to take my blue green, do some curved lines for some color. And then I'm going to take my black and lightly color in my seal. Don't do it too dark because then you won't be able to see what you drew. If you want, you can use gray. You can also use a light brown. Just remember, not too dark that you can't see it any longer. Next, peach. I'm going to start off with my apricot just to put some color down. And then I'm going to go over it with my pink. Give it kind of a pinky look. Now, if you don't have either of those colors, you can also do orange with a little bit of yellow. Okay? Brown for my top. And green for my leaf. There we go. Next. I'm going to do my meat. Now first I'm going to color this part, it's like a roast beef, I'm going to color that kind of reddish orange. Because then I am going to go over that with my brown. So it doesn't look so pinky red. Okay? Then on top, I'm going to put a little bit of yellow. And down here, I'm going to put a little bit of yellow. And then I'm going to put a little bit of my red. And pretend this is a garnish. You know, sometimes they put little pieces of green, greenery. So I'm going to put a little bit of green too. For my meat, E. So we have beans, leaf, seal, peach, and meat. All long E sounds. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. I knew I forgot something. I want to take my little dotted line and go all the way around my edge of my paper because I really feel this finishes off my chart and it'll look nice when you put your books together or you keep these on a bulletin board. Okay? There we go. Alright, now let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my long E vowel chart all colored in. Okay, bye-bye.